boy, look at this beautiful spring rain. April 1st. Get a call, bank owned property, need to tarp or retarp or tarp some damage. I don't know, but we're here doing a quick walk around in the rain and I see a hip right here and I want to show and talk about tarping real quick. If I can switch my camera. My phone screen is wet, so hopefully it doesn't end it. All right, looking right here, there's probably a couple pieces of cap missing, hip and ridge. And up higher, there's a few more I just now see. But when you're going to tarp something like this, for one, you need to tuck, tuck, I almost said tarp, tuck under whatever you're doing. So let me try to point on the screen here. That piece of cap, there's not much run down that ridge, but it's going to go under your tarp. Same principle. If you're tarp in the middle of the field, you need to tuck under a shingle or water's going to run under it. But they caused more damage just simply nailing off these little strips of wood right through the roof. And yes, yeah, the elephant room. It's an old roof. It's an old discontinued three-tab shingle. But the place probably doesn't even have insurance. It's bank-owned. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know who owns it. Some real estate person out of uh, another state said, hey, check it out. So we're talking about the damage they've caused. And we're going to go around this other side. <laughs> Did I say it's beautiful? Look at the raindrops coming down. All right, we're going to talk about this right here. That's a whole, like, what are they tarping? Everything's there. <laughs> Let me zoom in. I was going to do a live video <clears throat> April 1st, 2024, but I uh, can't zoom in during live on you. Actually, I do see a shingle or two missing, but look at that big mess they made. Now they got strips of wood nailing through everything. I mean, all you had to do was shove the shingle back under, shove any shingle under, take a small piece of three foot tarp and tuck it under, take a piece of synthetic paper and tuck it under. Do you get my drift? Just a itty bitty bitty little piece tucked up under that little piece right there would have been perfect. Now there's all this kind of damage. And I know some of you guys are like, oh, let's get it bought by insurance. Oh my, I need some sleep. Look at my puffy eyes here. I got one more side to look at over here. Uh, wow, zoomed in too far. Originally I walked down this side and I'm thinking, that? That's it? You're gonna pay for an emergency tarp job for that? It's literally three or four shingles. One two, three, four, four shingles. And they're all sitting right there. One, two, three, four. Four shingles. Knowing the kind of guy I am, if it wasn't wet right now, I'd probably just throw it up there if that was all there was and just tuck them in and be like, hey, have a good day. You know, give us a call when you're ready to get the roof done. The roof needs to get done. That's what I'm gonna tell them. Yeah, I'll tarp it on a dry day. Right now it's like six, after 6 p.m. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna quote coming back just do a quick tarp job with a big note in there you need to get the roof done actually I don't want to show the uh, address here it's only the road address not even the road name and it'll look backwards too Where is it? oh it's over here yeah it's all backwards Things I gotta do to stay happy and in a good mood when you're soaking wet. Alright, until next time, be safe. We'll see you on the next one.